back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be doing a simple glam look for Eid now I know a lot of you do celebrate Eid so this video is dedicated to you guys I hope you guys have a lovely Eid I wanted to do a look that's more on the simple side that you guys can follow easily at home and I know that a lot of us are still at home and still in that lockdown phase mode so this is just one that you can do at home that's comfortable um, that's not too glam but you know still glam at the same time um, I just feel like the lip is the perfect addition to this look and my fit is so gorgeous if you guys are looking for outfits I definitely recommend Omsara they have been amazing I've worked with them various times and they have never disappointed me the outfits are just such high quality I actually wore one of their fits for my wedding after party it's just super luxe such nice quality and like literally you feel like a princess every time i wear the outfits i just feel like i just feel amazing so yeah definitely recommend them guys i'll link my outfit in the info box if you guys want to check them out and my jewelry i think is from omsara as well they do do jewelry as well but yeah i'm just feeling this look i also tried a bunch of new products that i got through the post recently so yeah i hope you guys will enjoy this little get ready with me and We'll jump straight into it. All right, guys, I already have my brows done and we're gonna move on to our eyes first. I'm actually gonna first use this new ColourPop Bronco Cream Eyeshadow. And this really reminds me of the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm just gonna put this all over. Wow, it's really opaque. For sure but this is really good to get your eyeshadow to really pop so this is creamy but it's definitely more on the drier side so i don't feel like my eyeshadow will crease with this but so far so good and the shade's actually quite good for me um again this is in the shade bronco but i feel like they have a shade for each skin tone um which is really really good so i'm just gonna go with very light eyeshadow like a gold base all over because i want to go for like a natural look with a pop of color on the lip um and i really want the gold to com complement the the outfit so i don't know i don't even think i'm gonna use a crease shadow maybe a little bit today i'm using the huda beauty desert dusk eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna start i'm gonna first start off with the shade musk now she's gonna go into the crease like so i'm gonna first pack this So the next shade I'm going to use is Nefre Nefertiti. Nefertiti? I, ne I can never say that shade. I think I'm just going to use my finger for this one. See, this shade is so pretty. And this paint pot is definitely not going anywhere. I'm going to take more of Musk and really blend this all over the crease area, but not too much. Guys, I really want to know in the comments below, are you um, traveling anytime this year? Because I know for me, for sure, like traveling's not like off the books for us, but um, like, are you guys going anywhere? Have you been anywhere? I know a lot of people are now traveling. I'm just really scared that I get stuck in another country. Like if the, the other country that I'm in puts lockdown rules and all the UK kind of puts quarantine like stricter quarantine rules for that country i don't know this is the perfect shade because i really wanted something like subtle and then i'm just gonna grab the shade musk again obviously i'm just trying this eyeshadow out and i would definitely say i prefer just using my tarte shape tape reason being is that this is a bit too dry for my skin like I just feel like it's accentuating everything on my lids that's just my opinion like my first thoughts on it like whilst my tarte shape tape as a base is just perfect because it just sits nicely on my skin and my shadows stick well to it like my shadows are definitely probably not going to move from this space but it's a bit more on the drier side for me i'm going to take the darker base in mood beam these are called cream shadows by the way they're not really called bases um, and I guess if it's going to be a shadow it needs to be more on the drier side um, but I'm just going to use this darker shade with an angled brush this is a glam doll 336 brush and I'm just going to focus this on the lash line just so that it can act for as a base for the brown that I'm going to put on but this shade actually would be really nice all over so I'm now going to take the palette again and use the shade oud Ooh, 
Ooh, that's nice. That's actually so nice. I also wanted to do a more toned down look this year for you guys because I've done so many like bold looks on my channel, but I also feel like during this period, maybe some of you would m want a more wearable, toned down, easy to wear look. Okay, now I'm curling my lashes, which is a must when I'm doing a glam look. And it also helps the lashes to curl with your falsies because we're gonna be using falsies. I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to wear falsies because I haven't worn them in so long. I'm just going to put a quick quote of the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. In the past um, few days, I've actually realised how good this mascara is. But it's mostly for length. So on those, on those natural days, this is actually a really, really nice mascara. Then for lashes, I'm going to use the Classy Lashes UK Lashes in Janet, which is actually one of my all-time favourites. Look at the difference. I love these lashes. I did have to trim them a little bit. Okay, now we can move on to skin. I'm gonna use my Glam Glow Glow Setter Moisturizer. This is a collaboration with Barbie. Really pretty glowy pink shade. If you look at a bunch of my older videos, you'll know that I was obsessed with this moisturizer. I'm gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime. Now for foundation, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is in the shade Cardamom. I'm just using my EX1 Beauty Sponge to blend this all out. I'm now going to use my L'Oreal More Than Concealer in the shade Toffee. I'm just going to blend this out. I'm now going to set that in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder in shade Medium. If you guys are looking for a good drugstore powder, like this is one that I do really like. Okay, we definitely need some colour to the skin right now. I'm going to use my trusty old Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer in the shade 3. Tan. Just look at that, it just blends like a dream. Like, I love this bronzer. I just feel like the most simplest looks are the ones that I'm more likely to wear. And you can definitely make it like glam as well. Like, you don't always have to go with full color. You can wear this look with a nude lip. Like at first it was looking a bit, mm, now it's just starting to come together. Next up, I'm gonna use the new ColourPop Pressed Powder Cheek Blush in Crossroads. Guys, that blush actually applied so beautifully. Now it might look a little bit like a lot on camera, but it's actually so nice. It's got a tint of peach to it it's like the perfect peach for brown skin love this so far guys i'm so excited about this i'm going to try the new huda beauty nymph all over highlighting powder in the shade flora and it just looks so beautiful <gasps> like packaging a 10 out of 10 let's try this on the skin no ashiness it's like glass highlight for sure. I literally could stare at this all day long. It's so pretty, um, but I love the shade of it. It actually wears really, really nicely. So, so far I'm quite happy with it. I actually got this new Super Facialist Rose Hydrate Soothing Facial Mist, which I'm actually gonna put all over because I just feel like my skin needs a bit of hydration. It's definitely been more on the drier side lately. And I love that this has a continuous mist, but I'm just gonna let that sink in for a bit. I don't know about you guys, but have you watched Kissing Booth 2? Because I really loved the first one and I actually loved the second one even more. And now I'm just so excited for the third one. And I know some people find the film cringy, but for me it was just like the perfect kind of like rom-com watch, I would say. Is it even rom-com? Like drama, romantic, teen film. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave my skin like this. For the first time ever, I'm gonna keep this extra simple and not do anything to my lower lashes, which is so rare. Um, and I'm just gonna finish off with my lip. So my outfit has a bit of like fuchsia to it. So like, kind of like this. So I'm gonna go with this deep fuchsia 
lipstick. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Passionista. Yeah, this is the perfect shade I was looking for. Guys, I actually cut my hair so short. I know it's not sh that short, but like, it's short for me. But it just feels so much healthier and like bouncier. It was just weighing down so bad. Guys, I'm so, so happy with the lip. I just feel like it's the perfect touch to this look. And I hope you found this tutorial easy. And if you do recreate it, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations. I hope you all have a lovely eve to all those that are celebrating. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye my loves.